this morning we were reminded of the variety of creatures that are drawn to and rely upon the bounty of the shoreline. And among those are deer, which usually come so uh, early in the morning that we don't see them. And it's actually been a few years since we've seen them, but uh, they were there this morning and we enjoyed seeing them. And then a little later we saw a uh, little nurse shark and uh, some pelicans flying and the seagulls and the willets wading. There's all manner of creatures that are drawn to the beach. So I would like to read to you a poem to the sea. Whose voice is it calls us to the sea? Calls deer, pelican, nurse shark, and more? To find there our respite, our sweet peace, each attracted to our azure shores. Some are called by mountains, some by plains, but our ears hear aught but ocean waves. Should we wander, should we stray too far from the visage our wanton souls crave? Or our spirit comes a cloud to rest, our focus falters, our good cheer flees, until compelled by nature's wooing once more to join the waves, the seas. There is a pleasure in the pathless woods. There is a rapture on the lonely shore. There is society where none intrudes. By the deep sea and music in its roar, I love not man the less, but nature more. From these are interviews in which I steal from all I may be, or have been before, to mingle with the universe and feel what I can ne'er express, yet cannot all conceal. There is a pleasure in the pathless woods by Lord Byron.